we are today is friday right i think it's friday yes good morning today is friday and i am having some coffee it is 9 30 i decided to get ready a little earlier this morning just super simple because i have a nail appointment and i'm so excited i'm going to try bringing you guys along the baby's here and i'm cooking breakfast so i actually wanted to share this creamer i got if y'all have a kroger's near you try their kroger brand creamer this is probably the second one i've tried and this is by far the best one for only a dollar 18 you guys this tastes so freaking good i really really like it i'm glad i gave it a shot but anyways i'm cooking breakfast i'm cooking breakfast and i need to finish getting ready it is super cold today is like in the 50s it's like at 50 actually 50 degrees so i'm just cooking up some breakfast scramble with some hash browns and then i'm gonna go ahead and change and go get my nails done so the goals for today is to get my nails done come back and clean the house deep clean the house deep clean my beauty room since i have clients this weekend and also i'm gonna cook with you guys a slow cooker meal we're gonna make the buffalo ranch chicken sliders that i had mentioned in my previous video so that's what we're gonna be doing today in the slow cooker i was gonna try having it cooking before i left but there's not i'm not gonna have time because i need to leave here in an hour because it's about a 20 minute drive for me to get the nails done so instead i'm just gonna cook it during the day while I'm cleaning, that's the goal. Since I'm gonna have to clean the living room, the restroom, the beauty room, like everything, I need to clean the whole house. So I'm just gonna have the slow cooker going for the whole day. So anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give me a like, I appreciate it. And if you do like my channel, don't forget to share. I just throw everything in here because I'm lazy, lazy skillet breakfast. Hey guys, hopefully que no se pegue. Black Friday's coming up. I'm hoping to get new pants because girl needs them. I'm gonna turn down the heat and then I'm just gonna cover this so the yolk can finish cooking. Oh, I like our eggs. Nice and done. Serve up. And the baby is playing in his little jumper room. Go baby, go baby. We put a little shirt behind him to help him give him support. No, this Got little... to the nail bar. I'm so excited to be trying out this a new place, you guys. guys. I just got to the nail bar. I'm so excited. I am still deciding. I want to do black nails because I love black. I always love doing my nails black. So I'm thinking about doing black, but I'm going to add... I saw something called cat eye, which is like a holographic, kind of like a shifter. And it looks so freaking cute. And I'm like, I totally want to do that for my nails. So I'm going to go ahead. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do black with that. Like you can't ever go wrong with black. So I'm just here chilling and I'm waiting for my appointment. My appointment's at 11, so it's like 10, uh, 50 right now. So I'm about to walk in cause I wanna like take pictures of the inside, you know, for my Instagram. So yeah, I'm excited. I have not done my nails in a while, you guys. I had been letting my nails, my natural nails grow and I was just doing shellac like ever since the baby was born. But my nails all broke and I feel like, um the shape that i was doing which is almond shape it helps me not scratch the baby because it's not pointy like coffin or anything or square where the edges are like they can help like where the edges are pointy so with the almond shape it lets me have like a softer nail so that's what i'm going with and i absolutely adore almond shape i feel like it's so vintage and retro which is something i love so yeah anyways you guys let's go ahead and go inside but it's super pretty. 
I love it. So we did, did we did blue on these and then pink on this one. I really love the pink. So cute. So I'm I just finished doing my nails. It's super cute. The only thing is was really expensive, but then again, in the area that I'm at right now, I should have figured it was like 75 bucks for my nails, you guys. Like I've never paid that much for nails, but I'm telling myself it's okay to treat myself every once in a while and I haven't done my nails like I said in a long time and I really like that they took their time on the shape because I know the oval shape is kind of hard and sometimes people do it kind of wonky and she took her time and they, I think they look so good. I love it but now it's time to go home because I gotta go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start driving back home and that way I can go see my baby. I miss him already. Hey guys, so for the recipe, it's going to be buffalo ranch chicken, and this is really good, you guys. I was very surprised. I actually really enjoyed it. I like that it's easy. You can just throw it in the crock pot. I used two chicken breasts, and it made a lot, and um, like I said, this is simple. You can use it for wraps. You can use it for, uh, what is it called, hamburger buns like I did, so I'm using garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder, and a ranch packet. To give it flavor that's what I seasoned it with and a little bit of seasoning salt very little because of the ranch packet it already has a lot of salt so very simple ingredients I didn't add any extra liquid because uh, chicken breast usually releases moisture so I didn't add any extra water or anything in the ranch packet I think I used about half of it I don't think I used all of it because I was scared it was gonna be too much and then for the hot sauce, I'm using Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And this is the Wings flavor one. I only had a little bit of it. And then the rest, I'm using the regular Frank's Hot Sauce. And I, I don't even know how much I used. I think I probably used one whole bottle of it because I felt like it towards the end, it wasn't as spicy as I would like it. I used half of a block of cream cheese. And I basically let that cook on low for about three hours. Okay, you guys. I just put the chicken in the crock pot. And look how cool my nails. Here you can see them a lot better. They look so cool. So these are blue and this one I chose pink. I love it. But again, I'm not going back there. Like, I'm glad I experienced that place because I've been wanting to go there, you know. But I'm not, mm -mm, I'm not paying those $75 again so goal for today is we got to clean this room clean all this mess over here leave my room leave my room set up for clients tomorrow I'm having uh, makeup and hair clients here and then I got to clean the kitchen the restroom and the living room so just leave everything clean I'd like it to just be clean and then I can chill for the rest of the day I'm gonna have an easy meal which is just the chicken in the crock pot and I'll probably give the same thing to my husband for lunch. So let's go ahead and start cleaning. I think I'm gonna start with the living room because that's where that's what's driving me the craziest. Like there's clothes that I folded, there's like just junk everywhere. So I need to go clean that. Hey cozy. Mm. Hey cozy. And take a little nap while mommy finishes cleaning and putting up clothes. Smelling so freaking good, you guys. Like, smells like wings in the house. Like buffalo wings. I'm gonna check on it real quick. Mmm. It was smelling so good, you guys. So, about after three hours, I went ahead and started shredding it. It was still very tough i felt like it still needed to cook longer because i wanted mine to be super soft so i went ahead and just tore up what i could that way the all the chicken had flavor in the inside as well and then i closed it and i let it continue cooking till the four hours was done so it cooked for another hour or so kind of like this and i just left it alone left it cooking So I was deep cleaning the restroom and I'm about done. I just got to put up like toothpaste, stuff like that, that I kind of have lingering around. But I cleaned the toilet. I cleaned everything, even 
this part so hi <laughs> my foundation looks a little dark compared to me but it's okay anyways I cleaned in here now I gotta finish the clothes and then the living room I took a little break with the baby to feed him so yeah I'm so tired now guys you hey guys so then I added a little bit of ranch to the mix it was probably about maybe two three tablespoons of ranch and then I started adding cheese cheddar jack cheese or Colby jack cheese mixing it in till creamy the cheese in here really does make the difference it makes the chicken really creamy and delicious it kind of just combines it all together and gives it a thicker consistency so don't skip out the cheese in this recipe and then here i feel like you can kind of play with it if you want yours more spicy add more hot sauce and that's what i did because i love spicy food so i went ahead and added a little bit more hot sauce just to give it a little bit more of that buffalo flavor and like i said i just played around with it here just adding more hot sauce more cheese a little bit more ranch whatever i felt like it needed but it was done and it was so bomb, you guys. <laughs> okay, you guys, here is my buffalo chicken sandwich. I just toasted my little Hawaiian rolls. These little Hawaiian hamburger buns, they're so small, they're so good, but so small. I toasted them. I didn't add extra ranch on here because I have ranch on the side with some celery. And then the coleslaw, I added it on top because I'm not gonna lie, today's new day. Today is a new day and I've already had the sandwich, I wanna say like two times since I last cooked it and I still needed to do the ending for the video, so here I am. The first time that I ate the sandwich, I just did it with, um, I think it was like lettuce, tomato, and yeah, lettuce, tomato, and ranch. And it was good, but I just felt like it was like too too much mushy stuff on the bun. You know what I mean? Like the shredded chicken is very soft, the bun is soft, and the tomato is soft, the lettuce was soft. Like, I don't know, I feel like it didn't need a crunch. So today I went ahead and made it the way I originally had it in mind, which is the buffalo sandwich with coleslaw on top. And then a side of celery sticks with some ranch and some Doritos. But I also ate it one day for lunch with just celery sticks and ate the chicken as a dip. So good. My husband did not want to eat the sandwich at first, you guys, because he said it looked disgusting. He kept complaining that it looked nasty, that it looked like throw up. Right, babe? Throw up? He said it looked like crap. But what did you think about the sandwich? It was alright. He said it was alright. It was good. Oh, now he's saying it was good, you guys. But anyways, it is Monday night, and I'm about to eat this and enjoy it. I hope you guys try it out and enjoy the recipe, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.